session, I will show you the four different methods that can be used to run reports in EPIC. Here is a list of ways in which you can run EPIC reports. First, I will show you how to run a report with the print preview option. Next, I will walk you through generating a report as a PDF file. Following this, I will review how you can run that same report as an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. Lastly, I will point out how you can add your most valuable reports to the EPIC home base under the report quick view. Let's jump in to seeing the print preview option first. In the home base, click on reports and marketing. Next, identify and highlight the report you wish to view. Next, go to print and print preview. The report should display, showing you your criteria page first, and then you can just arrow over to see all of the report details. So that's how you review a report using the print preview feature. Next, I would like to show you how to generate a report as a PDF file. From your Epic home base, go to Reports and Marketing. Select the report you want to generate as a PDF file and click the pencil to edit. Next, go to delivery options. Okay, and for this example, I did delete anyone under the report recipient. I'm going to change my schedule time to now. Next, I will edit the current user. I'm going to uncheck the notify only, remove the local default printer. I'm going to select save to disk. And my option here is to save as a PDF. Add the file name here. And click finish. Since you want to review this port right now, you can go to Actions and Generate Report. The window will pop up having you store this file in your desired location. I'll save it to my desktop and click Save. Then I can open the file from here. Then you will have your criteria page once again and you'll be able to arrow down and view all of the activity details. So next, I'm going to show you how to generate this report as a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. Pretty similar to how we generated this as a PDF. Okay, I'll make sure my scheduling is set for now. Edit the current user. Again, make sure notify only is unchecked. There is nothing selected in my fields here. Save to disk, but now you can save your file here as a CSV or Microsoft Excel workbook. Add the file name and finish. Now to run the report again, go to Actions and Generate Report. Another window will pop up for you, and then you can save it in your desired location. I'll call this activity report number two. And we can open the file now. Okay, popped up on my other screen here. Okay, so in your spreadsheet, you'll see two different tabs. One is the parameter page, which consists of everything that the report has in its criteria. But you can select the other tab, which would have the name of the report and list all of the information here. That's how you generate reports in EPIC as a Excel spreadsheet or CSV file. 
Okay, the last method I really wanted to show you today was adding the reports to your report quick view. So to do that, you'll go to reports and marketing. Locate and highlight the report you wish to add to your Epic home base. You can go to actions, deliver as report quick view. You can change the name of the report if you'd like. I'm setting it to my report quick view and finish. Okay, so if I scroll down to my report quick view, I see now that the report that I just copied over is now here on my home base. And you can easily run this report at any time, just right here. In a moment, my report should display. Here's my criteria page. And again, arrow over to see your activity criteria and results. So let's quickly recap the four ways that you can run reports in Epic. First, you can use the print preview feature in the My Reports area to run a report. You can also run a report as a PDF file and save to your computer. Third, you can run the file as an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file after editing the delivery options. And lastly, you can add reports to your report quick view and run reports directly from the Epic home base. So just a few final notes before we take off. If you would like to obtain a list of Epic reports, please email training at asnoah.com. Let us know which reports you need and a member from our team will copy those reports to your My Reports in Epic. If you would like any staff members to start managing some of those Epic reports, let us know and we will send you the Epic report access form and assist with setting those up for them. Lastly, if you are interested, interested in knowing how to schedule EPIC reports, you can actually find a video tutorial on the ASNOA Training YouTube channel. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and have a great day.